Hello everyone, welcome to Buildium tutorial. My name is Jana Cristo and today I'll go over turning on and editing the public website that comes with Buildium. Uh, the website is free for all levels and I'll show you what you can do with it. So the way you can turn it on, you, you have to go to the communication tab and click on public site. So here's how you turn it on. Just turn it on. Um, and you can use this website as your main website. I'll, let me show you. It's kind of crazy. It has crazy colors, but we can change that. You can either use it like that and you can add uh, custom, you can add more um, pages or you can change and um, add uh, more information to this page and make it your home page. Um, and also you can forward an existing um, URL towards this um, URL, which would be um, your name dot manage building dot com. So when people click to your custom URL, they're going to be automatically directed to this. And this could be your main website. However, if you don't want to do that, um, let's say you, you already have a um, main website created and you just want to plug in, let's say you're a real estate agent, you just want to plug in the um, property management site, you can just create about um, a menu uh, button on your website and it can just lead to, to this website and you could have everything property management related to that. So the way you can change your public website URL, you have to go to account and billing. Um, I'm not going to go because I have some personal information, but this would allow you to change the, it's easy and, and self-explanatory. So um, it will not allow you to have a custom URL, but you can change this part where it says Renty one. Um, so let's say if your company is, um, best property management will be best property management dot manage building dot com and you can leave it like that or as I said you can have a you can register domain and just forward it to this um, let me show you um, what else you can do that's uh, that would allow you to connect if you have a website already to allow you to connect this website with your main website. This customizable link right here, um, I already entered the link text Rancy and the, and the URL would be rancy.com. So let me show you where that is and what it's going to do. So here is this link next to sign in. So if people want to go back, let's say this is my real estate site, it will be um, Renzi real estate or something else. So when somebody is here, they can click on this and they can go to the main website. And of course I need to match the colors, but that's, that's how you can connect both. And okay, so um, you can have your contact information. Uh, you can even add uh, Google Analytics and other, um, if you have other analytics here and your meta tag. Um, so let's, sh uh, I, I want to show you. Um, how you can add a custom page. I already did here. You can just um, um, turn it on or off. Let's say I ha already have one custom page. So I want to turn on another custom page. And 
this would you just uh, type your title and anything you want here in the page content and that's it you creating a custom uh, page so this is the home page which you can um, edit as well so you can add um, more information to your home page so it's not um, so empty as it is right now um, and and additionally, because I'm gonna, uh, I, I want to show you how to connect this website to your main website, or let's say, um, um, because this is not very pretty, and I don't want to, um, um, you know, spend the money to completely integrate everything. That's an easy way to do it. So create the WordPress website add a menu button and that goes directly to um, the to this website so this is how you can change the colors uh, you can either pick some of these but if you want to completely match your website then you can use these colors here so i'm gonna say I want to match Rancy colors so I will I know the the color you can pick the color or even better if you know uh, the number you can just enter that and here also and have a button that's going to also match to the buttons of my other website so this way everything can look like it belongs and it's um, so everything seems like okay this one I just wanted to make it a little bit So we want to save the team. Okay. And let's see what we did. So there you go. Unfortunately, I cannot change um, the type and I can't change many things about but it, I just wanted to show you just matching the colors with your ma main website may be the only thing that you need there you go it looks similar so it's not it, it doesn't look like uh, you taking the, the people from one side to the other and of course you can design your main site so it completely matches this as well but as i said you can absolutely you can create custom pages and you can absolutely in forwarding url um, would allow you to use this as your main website so you don't have to have a different website Okay, so this is a nice uh, preview here. It allows you to see um, how the website looks in mobile and desktop. Okay. And here you can add images if you want to have add logo or anything like that. You will do it right here. Okay, I want to go to the website and show you the some of the functionality. So from here, um, the, the the listing kind of the listing I entered before it shows here. So um, potential tenants can request information or they can apply for this unit, and this is the application that is already 
in the um, website. I mean, it's, it's already um, set up, so you don't have to do anything, it's there. However, um, you can um, adjust it from the settings. You can adjust the website and there you go. Like, so this is the applications that, that is already there. And let's go home and show you here. Residents um, can, uh, tenants can sign in right here. Um, your rental owners and vendors can sign in. And here documents, if you have um, a lease or any other documents that are public, you can just keep them right here. I mean, there is no non, nothing, but that's in here. If you have a lot of uh, properties, um, the search is here. And this is um, a accessibility adjustment. Now, this is very important. I actually um, heard that the property manager, manager was sued because um, they didn't have this um, adjustment and um, so you can avoid all that and having to design a special site uh, a special website with this or having a plugin or whatever you want to do by just using this as a your main website so that's all i wanted to show you for today how to turn on and connect and edit your website. We started offering um, consultation if you want to do, if you want help with Buildium or anything related to creating a public website um, and um, WordPress website. Anything um, if you have any questions, you can go to rancy.com and contact us directly. I'll be happy to help. The next video we I'm going to make is going to be on the uh, this communication button. Um, the, I'll show you the residence center, how to s uh, send mailings, email, how to set up automated emails and all of that. So please, if you like these videos, please subscribe.